Hello, this is Mr. Seth OMG, and I'm going to try a second time to give you a tutorial on MC Edit. The first one, I realized I wasn't recording my sound. Thankfully, I only recorded 30 seconds. So, when you press Create New World, you will not see this. Uh, wait, I think I can make it so you'll see it. Let's see if I open Fraps. Uh. See where is it? It's uh monitor aerial desktop. Okay. Does it work now? I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm going to name this world YouTube MC Edit Test. I failed at spelling that. So then you save. Then it's uh, you can choose what kind of world you want to make it. Whether it's going to be flatland. Or what not. I think it can only be flatland. I haven't been able to edit it before. You can choose your spawn point. The height of your spawn point. Whether there's grass or not. And if it's going to be creative, survival. And it does not have hardcore, sadly. So let's uh, create. So once created... It asks you to explore it in Minecraft to create the chunks. So, let me go into Minecraft and explore the chunks. Okay, so in Minecraft, my fr you may, no you won't notice, but I'm playing in small screen versus full screen. Because while I load chunks, my computer is really slow. Then putting it on render distance to far is usually a bad idea as well. I just spotted something there. Yeah. Don't be surprised if it's like absolutely nothing. Yeah, it's a block of sand. Okay. So you may also have noticed that I switched to creative. That's because I wanted to fly out of this immense ocean. If you also looked carefully, no, you wouldn't have noticed, but... I am using Finite Liquids mod because I finished recording it a couple a day ago actually, and I was too lazy to switch mods. But that is an interesting water setup right there. Oh, it's sponge. Yeah, natural sponge. I said it was possible. Ha! Told you. But yep, I've loaded a couple chunks, and uh, that should be enough for the rest of my demonstrations. So once again in your world you may notice there's nothing there but excuse me to get all the list of the options of control you see that under control R it's reload so if I do control R ah very good you may notice there's this weird texture on top that's probably because using finite liquids wasn't the greatest idea in the world but you can explore this world so it's essentially a bit of a mapper as well Lava. So, you can explore the world and notice. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, oh, there's redstone right there. And, ooh, iron. Coal. Tons of stuff. Lapis lazuli. Um, yeah. So, you see there's... You can use this to explore. So, how I am moving around is I'm right-clicking to choose the direction. Spawn point. Um, I'm pressing Q to go up and Z to go down. That's a lava cave again. I'm getting a bit distracted here. Oh dear. Is that I sorry. Okay. I'm using the W A S D keys while Norton gets mad at me for Java using too much CPU. And uh Yep, WASD keys to move in all the directions. So, other keys is, uh, yeah, there's all these commands such as go to world info. So if I do control I, I can see this is day one, 7.44 a.m. This is the seed. And you can actually change the seed, which is pretty cool. You can change the game type. You can repair regions. I 
don't know what that is exactly. I think it's you got corrupted areas. So if I do repair regions, I'm guessing that, yeah, it's starting to crash now. So it's not responding. At least, I don't know if this is going to be recorded if it's not responding. I'm not all too familiar with the not responding with fraps. But uh, let me get back when I have finished this. Well, fix this problem, really. So, this is about 10 seconds later. It did not respond for long. So, repairs are complete. Uh, if I look, if I tab out into the console, it says it removed five chunks and recovered five chunks. So, I don't know what was wrong or anything. But, anyway, what is really good about this is uh, you can brush and fill an area with stone and stuff like that so there's tons of stuff you can do such as making tasks easier you can clone a certain area right click for options place them here so really let's uh, select an area if I control C is a lot right yeah, I bet it's a lot. So then you can save it as... You see the save and delete up here? You can either save it as a schematic file. Schematic, I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay. Or you can delete it out of your clipboard. Or you can paste it and just place it somewhere else in your world. Then you press enter. Yeah, you press enter to put it there. Well, I'm sure there's a button over here as well. Also, you can delete the entities in the certain area, you can delete all the blocks, you can select the chunk it's in. You can do a lot of things. You can also nudge for it to go in a certain direction. Then you can fill and replace it with birch saplings just for the hell of it. So now if I was to save this world there'd be a humongous column of birch saplings. Though I'd see no point of it really. Also you can filter which is makes water in a region flood outwards and downwards, becoming full source blocks in the process. This is similar to Minecraft Classic Water. Whoa, nice. So the cliff forester. So you can do tons of things. Wow. <laughs> There's tons of things I didn't even need to do. Then you can import things. So, I have... What? Let's see. A couple kilobytes of stuff, and, uh... Yes, yeah, 700 kilobytes of, uh, redstone schematics. So let's just take from one from... Oh, yeah. This is a 4-bit binary to hexadecimal converter. I made that. Um... Let's just take my favorite thing, which is... Oh, do I don't have it here. It's a shame. Oh, I, th I had this, uh... Rock, paper, scissors game at some point. Shame. No, what am I saying? I think I just read... Yeah, it says rock, paper, scissors. No, I had this, uh... Piston... Ah, there it is. So... So save it right there. No, let's not save it right next to it. Let's uh, delete that. Import it. Schematics Redstone Minecraft RPM. Okay. So put that there. I'll show it off to you guys later. Um, then I can import it. So it copies everything in. Why did the birch saplings disappear? I'm going to put those back. No, I don't want to fill all that with birch saplings. Be a shame. That'd be really a shame. Select chunk. Fill and replace with birch saplings. Thank you. Then you can move the player, and I'll just place myself right here. On here, so I can see my redstone creation and the birch saplings. Then you can move the spawn point here. So if I die, I don't move in it. Chunk control. I think it's uh. You can, yeah, fix the lighting and some chunks and all that. 
And I keep on removing that fill and replace with birch saplings. Yes, fill. Thank you. So there are 18 unsaved edits. When you press Control S, you save it. This does make it not respond, but for you guys out there who are using MC Edit, don't worry. It's completely normal, it does that a lot. And then eventually you should pop up a screen saying fixing, lighting, stuff like that. So, yeah, let's skip to that. After waiting about five minutes for this thing to load, you notice it's lighting chunks just like I said it would. So, once this is all finished, I will go ahead and tab into Minecraft, which, by the way, if you are following this step by step, you should close your Minecraft client before you attempt to use MC Edit. It should warn you, and uh, now you wouldn't have noticed, but I noticed that I actually did leave my Minecraft open, so I am a bit worried. I don't think it should corrupt your other saves, but if it corrupts this save, I will not redo the video. I'll just redo it in the back, the background. So, let's wait for this to load. Okay, so once I realized that, yes, the world did get corrupted because of what I did, I went around using another world that I created quite a long time ago, and uh, spawned in a couple birch saplings, not as much, because apparently, uh, yeah, MC Edit didn't like me spawning so many birch saplings. So, yeah, as you can see, the block's updated, so, of course, yeah, all of them went away. But, yeah, I managed to spawn in this. My, what? I call RPM, which is a rapid piston memory. So I don't really, I don't really know what happened to that piece of circuit. And to be honest, I don't remember what it did either. I went back to my redstone world and figure it out. But uh, I'm not going to give you a demonstration because that's for a later video. But uh, yep, you'll see this coming along soon enough. Or if I record this video and decide to post it later than the video I record of this then just saying I recorded this video first well this has been Mr. Seth OMG I hope you had a nice time learning how to use MC Edit and watching me fail a bit uh, so like subscribe and why is this starting oh, yep so you realize it does lag my machine and uh, yeah, goodbye. Like, subscribe, and comment on what you'd like me to do next.